Okay, everyone. Uh, today is the 19th of May. Uh, it's almost 10 a.m. Singapore time. So let's go to the charts. Um, we're going to go through... Basically, the swings are just playing out. So let's just go through the top nine. The top nine. Okay, so let's look at the dollar cap. Uh, so the dollar cat, uh, which I wrote here, sell. So the sell, as you can see, for the alphabets, right? So WXY, however, question is, is this going down from here or should, should you be trading the sideways before looking for the down move? So basically, sideways and then down. Okay, so that's, that's the move that you're looking for, right? W, the X, and then some down work like that. So last week you're trading the sideways, and then this week you're looking for the for a strong move down, which is what we got. Okay, so, okay. so next, let's just go. Uh, Euro dollar, same, same, same thing, so because of the influence of the of the USD. Uh, hopefully, what we want right now is uh, so forex just boils down to this. You see. You see, if you see this point here, question is, will this top break or will the bottom break? Because this thing here, will either go break the top or break the bottom. So right now, what we think is, what I think is that I would like it to go break the top. Like A, B, C. Once it's broken this top, is this, is this going to happen? Right. But this requires confirmation. Okay, You cannot just sell here and get there. Because if you look at this, when this gets to here, so let's say it didn't happen, but look at that. Look at this, look at all this sideways. The minute a person entered a trade, right, he'll be drawn out immediately. Immediately he entered the cell, he'll be drawn out immediately. Immediately he entered the cell, he'll be drawn out immediately. So you need, you, you don't just, uh, at, the, at the moment when it looks very good, just understand that that could be coming. It looks very good, then price actually, that could be coming. It looks very good that could be coming. So you need to understand that at the moment when you want to sell, uh, uh, just be mind, mindful of the little corrections that can happen. I mean, learn, how, learn how to intraday trade, right? Uh, the bias is one thing, intraday trading is another. So the bias is, this is the bias. It's about what, what, what I'm thinking. And so far it's looking good, right? Uh, okay, so it's pound dollar, pound dollar also doing, Correct. From here, yeah, down, and then now the question is still going to happen, right? So, the, the couple of, couple of uh, uh, dangers uh, that I want to point out would be uh, people learn about trend trading. They say, oh, now it's making lower low, but this question is, is this the end and then now it's going up, or is this a trend and then it's going more on the downside? But it really depends on the overall. Uh, structure of this what this whole thing is and uh, uh, whether the certain zones have been hit you see so when this was doing that this has to hit a certain zone which is actually I did which is this low because remember people need to be stopped out of the market right when this is coming from this point here to this point here and this last move came here before it shot down these are these are all the people that are being stopped out before the actual move so uh, now that it's here, and if you start to go and consolidate here like stuff, these are all the people from this level. Who basically, uh, orders have been filled. So market makers will sell high and buy low, then they will buy low, and then they will sell high. That's how, that's how money means it's made, right? Uh, buy low, sell high, sell high, buy low. So sell high, buy low, buy low, sell high. That's, that's how money is made, again. So, uh, since that equation was solved the previous time, so now the best chance of money making, sell high, buy low, and now next chance of making money from a swing trade is to buy low, sell high. So sell high, buy low, buy low, sell high. Just try to think of that and then, yeah, it should be good. Um, Swiss yen, very long term. Very long term, uh, but yeah, you have it. One, two, three. 
right? There's a trend right there. You have, uh, could this be all, all the correction? Could be anything. Could be anything. Could be from here. Maybe it comes down like that or it just crawls out and comes down like that. Who knows? Right? But for right now, very long term, this is, I'm thinking, hey, is this going to do that? But don't forget that even though you think this is going to go up, but that happened. Right? So the question is, if this happened here, is this that, and this is up, and this is up. So looking for the the, the nature of, of the nature of this the nature of this uh of this uh pair as we see it is up sharp move down go. So this one there is a sharp move. Has this sharp move ended and it is not going? So we're trying to understand the nature of this pair and hopefully once we can understand the nature we can make money. This sharp move and then after that go up. So it, it tends to make this kind of sharp moves and then it goes sharp move. Right. See all these little sharp moves. So now it has been one sharp move, so, so hopefully it will go. So that's the, that's the idea of it. Basically, a pound dollar, uh, pound dollar was uh, also interesting. The disadvantage of uh, member. So okay, great. Uh, so we always look the, the bigger move is down so trading in the direction of the downside is important uh trading in the direction of the bias is important as you can see because the bias means that uh means that well means that, means that your account is doing well you're making a lot of money um the, the danger of this would have been here always remember when you get to place like that what does it do it, 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 it it stops people out. People will be stopped out. You can imagine stop losses are here. So when people are forced to uh, uh, liquidate their positions, and uh, basically anyone anyone who was in the early sell have their have their buy stops above here, and they were stopped out. Some market maker will sell high. Sell high. Someone will sell high because there are buy orders here, buy stops here. Stops. S T O P S. Right. So people, people were stopped out for whatever reason. They were stopped out, and then when people buy, some people, the market makers will sell, sell high, and then you know, in some places the low, they will buy low. Right. So uh, there's also a chance that some people might have lost money because uh, they 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 are also familiar with. Head and shoulder patterns. Let me just show that again. So, if you're if, if a pattern trading is what you do, then uh, you need to understand the limitations of it as well. See that? So, when this one went up here, see it actually went up here, and then when it came back down, question now is this. So this is one shoulder, this is the head, is this another shoulder? And if, if so basically it looks like that. And a lot of classical head pattern styles, which I'm not a strong advocate of, because uh, it, it's not that great. Um, it's, uh, you, 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 you know, once it breaks here, you expect to go. But I've seen it break here and, and they collect as well. So, so sometimes having top patterns too prematurely also does not really, uh, does not really uh, play out, you know. So, so this one looks something like that. And then it came here. And then you someone bought here because they were eager for this to have gone up there, and then break out there. So this went completely the, 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 in the wrong direction. So patterns, uh, um, I would say if you if you are if a hair show trader is what you are, then of course uh, 
saying that if it went here, consolidate, and then you buy, that would be theoretically the correct, uh, the correct thought. However, because in trading, a lot of insurance traders, when they uh, are waiting for this to go up, they are so confident they start buying here and put a stop below. And then uh, they get stopped out of the process. I would say that uh, if you're look, if you're a hey, hey, insurance trader, uh, in this case, you probably stopped out anyway. Probably stopped out already. So it would have to be. You might have just survived, uh, but this one is probably a, actually. This one has a chance of going up actually. So if this one actually goes up. Uh, uh, it looks like a good buy. It looks like a good buy. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's still, still, still progressing now, but uh, generally this could be the first way you're looking sideways and then you're looking for it to go up, basically. Okay. So, uh, okay. The dollar yen. Yeah, it's all very large time frame moves. Uh, what did I put here? UJ sell. Also, this was a this was a very small move, very small move here. This was also one of those, uh, just like the pound dollar. You see how how it actually goes up. It goes up here, before it collapse. So you see all, all these points of great strength to the downside, and then it cleared. All the way to this high here, wow! Before it die. Now this this is uh, this is something uh, that that uh, that's been hopeful for a very long time. Uh, now's as good a time as any for it to go. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of structure, you have this. Uh, in terms of a strong push, you have this. In terms of a structure, you have this. So this looks actually geared to go up. It looks, it does look geared to go up. Um, I must say. But it's, uh, actually, at this point itself, I would say this point itself, itself, it look, this one looked like it could have gone. To be honest, it looked like it could have gone. Okay. Uh, because this one actually did break the law, so making this actually a complete. This is actually a common structure, but then unfortunately it did. But then when it crawled up here, this this whole move very very tricky. It, it could be any, it could have been anything to be honest. Uh, it could have been a sideways to go down. Uh, but like I said, because of the context of this whole thing, uh, this could have crawled, 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 and actually just spike up, possible as well. Uh, I, 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 unfortunately, you know, like like just because you got this strong move and then a sideways. Well, but that never happened. So impulse correction, impulse. Uh, in the case, in this case, it did not happen. So that's a disadvantage. You know, sometimes, so, so you might say, "Hey, you know, look, it, it, it happened. Strong move sideways, strong move. So strong move sideways, but that never happened. So knowing how to know, understand the weakness of the uh, idea of correction of impulse is an important thing. Um, so question is. This sideways and then down didn't happen. So up sideways, up. Will this never happen? Because see, it never happened here. So maybe, what if this doesn't happen as well? That's why knowing how to intraday trade here, it, very important because zone is an important thing. It gets there, then you decide what game what to do. If you, if you buy it here, you get there, and you keep it to go up again, I don't think that's a good idea because, well, as, as a long-term trader, if you bought this, thing is going to get there. And then they hit these zones, and we don't take the trade off. As a swing trader, we don't you don't take trades off, because um, you're gonna take, and then you're gonna move from one town to another town, see what happens. Move from one place to another place, see what happens. Move from one place to another place, see what happens. All right. So, just because uh, when you're trading in the middle like this, right? You're not trading at the bottom or the top. You know, you're trading somewhere in the middle. You just have to go from go go by few. Feel as in uh, at the moment in time you see this looks like a good trade, you take it from here to here, and then just walk away and live live another day, uh, enjoy the weekend, and next week come back and then try try to trade again. Right.
So that's that's but in in you know, this is daily time frame, right? So the bias is up. So you see opportunities upside to here, you just trade it up, then it just just walk away. Yeah. So the overall bias is yes, I think that may happen. Possible. I like this, but uh, I always remember the nasty the 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 cons the you know. Uh, We'll keep our eyes focused on the goal at, at the end of the rainbow. There are a lot of treacherous uh, bandits around as well. Right. But overall, yeah, it's still interested in the outside. Trade zone to zone, okay? Don't go for a male, uh, Hail Mary or home run. Right? It's not what we're aiming for. And, uh, okay, I think I think this is what I want to talk about uh, um, for looking at the past charts. Uh, just want to look at the one chart today, maybe one chart, can you give one trade out there. Uh, let's look at one trade. Let's look at the, um, let's look at the Aussie yen. I think this is interesting. So, okay. So we're going to look at one trade, uh, with this one. So we're looking at uh, there is some sideways going on now. Right. So I think some of our targets, targets around here would, would be good. Oh, let me see. So looking at Aussie yen, yeah. So anywhere around seventy one. I mean, if you could get up to this region, this would be a good. Uh, it would be good to try to get there. That's what, that's what I'm thinking right now. Okay, so today would be, uh, today is the 19th. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah. Let me just... So that's what we have. All right. Uh, okay. So we just uh, right. Let's see what we got. Now, this is it's a, it's already moving upside. If this is all the sideways action, it's, if this is if this is all the sideways action, right? And this is the impulse going up. Uh, we, we cannot trade this sideways now. We cannot trade this sideways because once the third wave has started, these these things are very low profits. You see, you see that? See the sideways. So you cannot trade this sideways, but you're actually looking for, yeah, you're looking for outside, outside, for the outside, for the outside. So you need to be looking for the outside, basically. So any sideways action, you should look for the buys. But once you get to the top, uh, you will understand that this move could happen. So, okay, so basically in a nutshell, I'm, uh, today, today, Tuesday, Singapore Tuesday. So over here, I'm looking to go up. Once you reach the top, I'm just saying for it to come down. Or I may not take this trade at all. This is a bounce trade. This all bounces. There's no, there is um, just a, it's just a, it's just a, okay, swing trades have a structure in between this A, this B, this C. Swing trades have something in, in between, right? The, the B waves. This is the impulse, this is the impulse, right? This, this is swing trading. You always want something here, but bounce trades don't have this. You just come here, it's usually overextended, and that's why you bounce. It's clear. Right. And so how do you take profit from it? Quite simple. Uh, you take profit like this. Trade to minimum, it's out. So you make a round. If it really hits this level, from there to there, right? 90 pips, pretty decent. You, you put depending on lot size, you could make uh, you know quite good amount of money. 
it's it, it, then a lot, of course, you'll be making in the, in the thousands, now, basically. All right, so one trade to look at, to, to consider, okay. Uh, this is not on, this is not on trading view. So um, just a little bonus for people who watch on, on YouTube, right? This is something that I'm looking at right now, uh, Aussie Yen to the upside, Tuesday mornings, 19th of May. All right, thank you so much for being here and uh, take care. Profitable trading, all right? Bye-bye.